people like to say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. There is no such thing as ugly, and by me trying to do this challenge, I'm being incredibly offensive. Because beauty standards aren't real, and they're not something to be respected, so by thinking that something is ugly, surely I must be buying into those beauty standards. But I think collectively that we can all agree that the, she's very, very ugly. Welcome to the Breed Out the Ugly Challenge, where I try to breed out the ugly from this here woman. Her name is Tiffany, and I don't know why I called her that. I just kind of looked at her and was like, yeah, that that's a Tiffany. And Tiffany is a very fashionable and lovely person. She's also very rich. I didn't cheat to get this money, I swear. Tiffany is actually breaking a lot of boundary. What is that? Wait, uh, oh, is that a candle? Oh, that's the candle. Okay, that actually freaks me out. As I was saying, why is Santa Claus inviting me to Batu? As I was saying, Tiffany is actually breaking a lot of beauty standards because she's actually a very famous influencer. She's a very fashionable woman. I mean, look at her apartment. Look at what she's sporting right now. Her makeup is actually perfect. Like, I could never apply falsies that well. So if anybody says I'm being mean or anything, you know, this is, she just proportionally, facially wise, she, she doesn't look right, okay? No, you know what? You're right. This is actually peak beauty. And today, I'm gonna see how many babies it takes to breed out the ugly of Tiffany. So in order to breed out the ugly, we need to find somebody who we can say objectively is not ugly. And actually, most town to be real are very attractive. They're all very pretty. See, we have three potential donors right now that could help us. We've got Arun, we've got Mortimer, and I think that's Victor. I think this should be determined by whoever wins this basketball match. Mortimer, can you beat this? Come on, Mortimer. So the first one to miss is gonna be not the baby guy. Okay, so it's gonna be Mortimer. We've decided. Oh, why are we going after a married man again? Okay, we're just gonna introduce ourselves. We're gonna say hello. I can't believe I'm having another series where a blonde woman is trying to seduce Mortimer God. You see, the way she carries herself makes up for all of this, actually. She's actually very attractive, if you think about it. Personality-wise, she's a really smart and bright woman. And, like, honestly, she's so fashionable. Now, hopefully, seducing Mortimer won't take a lot of work like it did in a Caliente Christmas where we literally had to butcher his wife in the middle of the woods. Hopefully just telling a couple of knock-knock jokes will do the trick. Hey, why is he leaving? Excuse me. You should get going now. No, 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 no. Dude, just cheat on your wife for science. I love this trend of really, really rich people coming to the city to just play basketball together. It's very interesting. Hey, you can't be on your phone when you're talking to somebody. That's really rude, especially when we're trying to seduce you for science. Tiffany has discovered the minnow. Okay, are we friends enough for you to have a baby with me yet? I'm going to share my insecurities with him just so it can humble Tiffany even more than she's already humbled. Stop leaving! Excuse me! Discuss expanding the family. Come here. Come back. Come back. What are you doing? I'm glad you brought this up. I've been thinking the same. Let me ponder on this for a short while and I'll get back to you. No, no. Don't expand the family with your wife. Expand it. With me. This is taking forever. I actually forgot how annoying it is to make friends. Even though I've said, oh, this game should be a little bit harder. Where did he even go? Is he at my house? Okay, he's going into my house. That's fine. Okay, just for safe measures, we're just gonna lock him in. This way he can't leave. Why, well, yes, on my planet. This is how we conduct conversations by not fucking looking at each other. Are you gonna sleep with me yet or what? I'm gonna compliment his appearance. Is there like self-deprecation as a flirting option or no? I'm gonna exchange phone numbers with him and hopefully this goes somewhere. Oh, 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 even with the wedding ring on your finger. Oh my god, I hate you. Where do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere, mister. Yup, yup. Yep, this is so morally not okay. Honestly, if you thought the challenge was immoral, think about what I'm doing right now. Think about what Mortimer is doing right now. What an asshole. Anyway, have a baby with me. I'm absolutely speed running this right now. Please, please say yes, say yes, say yes. We're basically pregnant. Okay, just a little bit more of this and then we can have a baby and then we can just totally leave him. Or we could tell Bella what he's doing and just like totally ruin his entire marriage, which is probably the route I'm going to take. Oh, check this out, check this out. Ready? Whoa. Oh that was so smooth. Oh my god. The Rizzler. I'm gonna let them do what they're gonna do. I am not here. I had nothing to do with this. If Bella Goth wants to sue that, you know what? She's got no basis because I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know who she is. I've never even met her. I hate that you can hear it through the other door. I really hate that detail. Remember to pee when you're done. Very nice. We're gonna take a pregnancy test just to see, you know, how um, potent he was. Oh, perfect. Yeah, okay. Now we can get rid of you now. Look 
look at him sleeping in my bed. I'm just gonna absolutely destroy this man. Oh, oh but okay. first we gotta tell him we're, that we're pregnant. Look how distraught he looks. You look so nervous, buddy. I wonder why. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you need to pee? That's really funny, actually, because I'm gonna lock the bathroom door. <laughs> like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> oh, now he's on his phone. Ask what Mortimer's problem is. Yeah, dude. What the hell? He might be like, why are you adding all this unnecessary drama? Bro, I just, I've got nine months to spend. I've got nine months to do whatever I want, and it's going to include fucking with this guy's life. Just let me do it in my bitterness and peace. Some things are hard to forget or forgive, okay? Yeah, okay. What is your wife gonna think, though? She's gonna give you the cold shoulder, and also, on top of that, criticize boohoo techniques. Is it me? Am I the drama? Yeah, vanilla, bro. What are you gonna do? Cry about it? Oh, God, that would be really funny. I'm so so toxic right now. Oh no, he really needs to pee. But guess what? I locked the bathroom door. So where are you gonna pee? You're just gonna read a book? Okay, yeah, you're my prisoner now, buddy. When I have this demented ass looking baby, guess who's gonna look after it? Yeah, it's gonna be you. <laughs> I can't even break up with him because we were never together. So I'll just yell at him a lot. And in my planet, we don't even look at each other when we're yelling at each other. I've decided she's an alien. She's not even an alien in game. She's just a regular sister. He's very uncomfortable right now. Yeah, okay, do I care? I can't really do much to him. He's just gonna pee himself and it's gonna be funny. So I'm just gonna make some food for myself. Yeah, okay, have fun. Well, I have your baby and guess what? The child support is gonna be very, very expensive. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Okay, yeah, go ahead and try. Okay, you know what, Mortimer, buddy? I'll cut you a deal. I'll let you out of the house once you empty your bladder. However you choose choose to do that is up to you, but the bathroom is off limits. In terms of what Tiffany's gonna do, she's just gonna try and have the best pregnancy that she can. She's gonna keep herself well fed. She's gonna keep herself well entertained. We're gonna get up to a little bit of hijinks, I think. Obviously, we're temporarily keeping our baby daddy hostage, but again, this is kind of his own doing. He only met us, like, what, 20 minutes ago, and he already decided to impregnate her, so honestly, it's more your fault, buddy, so if you piss yourself, I feel like that's, like, the least of what you deserve. We will try and destroy your marriage over the course of this challenge, though, I promise. But obviously, all of this is very tiring, so we're gonna take a nap first, because you gotta take care of yourself, because we're already, like, a third through the pregnancy, even though we got pregnant, like, 20 minutes ago. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Oh, no, did you doo-doo all over yourself? Well, maybe you should doo-doo better things in your life, and this type of shit wouldn't happen to you, okay? Oh, you're so stinky. All right, get the fuck out of my house. I don't, I don't wanna hear this. I've unlocked the door for you, and you're still not leaving, and, you know, no, that's your own fault. Okay, all of this is on you. Yeah, that's right. You clean up after yourself. I can't believe you pissed on my carpet. This is not the communal piss carpet, buddy. Are you leaving? Are you? Did you just turn on the TV while I was sleeping and then turn it off to leave? That was malicious. You did that just to be mean. Okay, where's your wife? I'm telling her right now. I'm going over to your house and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm starting fights and I'm ending them. Knock, knock. Let me in. I don't even know if there's an interaction to tell Sims that like you've controlled Contributed to destroying their marriage, but we're about to find out today. Assuming that their mom is home, which I think she should be, but I don't see her. Bella? Oh god, is Bella missing again? I don't think I could do this. Oh, there she is. Okay, yeah, the Strangerville mystery has been solved. Oh, don't go to bed. Weird that she's sleeping in a single bed, though. Is her marriage already, like, destroyed? Does she already know? Hi there, bestie. Don't be alarmed when you turn around. I swear I'm not an ogre. Share the big news. I'm gonna let you know that I'm pregnant, and we'll see how you take that, okay? Give fake bad news? Well, I have bad real news, but we'll try that anyway. Except the game won't let me because I think Bella Goth is going to bed again. Okay, she's just going to bed with Cassandra. They're having like a mother-daughter moment. I think their marriage is already falling apart. I don't want to like jump to conclusions, but she's really not wanting to sleep in the same bed as her husband. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, I did my job. I got pregnant and I ruined someone's marriage and I'm just gonna go home and wait for the baby to come out, okay? Oh god. Oh no, it seems like she's already having the baby that was so miraculous how did you have a baby in a day i did not cheat it's a boy I, I don't really know what to call him i'm not really good with baby names but if i did have a baby i would name it windows xp so windows xp is now being born and it is green okay so the goal for this challenge is to make them look as normal and beautiful as possible and so far it looks face wise it looks okay but it is a bit of a sickly color why are there two breastfeeding options and why is one of them with a 
dog. I don't like that. I'm gonna bottle feed it just to be safe. Okay, that's cool and cute and all, but I actually just want to age Windows XP up to see what we got going on. He's got Mortimer's hair, but he's got Tiffany's skin color. Face-wise, he looks okay. He looks quite normal, I guess. I'm gonna bake him a cake and we're gonna age him up again. So sit tight, buddy. Have I baby-proof this house? Absolutely not. Like that, that's dangerous. That's dangerous. The candles are just everywhere. There are electronics on the floor. Um, yeah, none of this is baby proofed. Honestly, this is just a science experiment. Whatever happens, happens. Okay, so we have the birthday cake and we're gonna add some birthday candles. Happy birthday, buddy. You've been sentient for all of two minutes and now you're having your like fifth birthday. Congratulations. Now you're ready to go to school and experience the wonders of elementary school where you will most definitely get bullied. Why are you picking him back up again? Let him age up. He's an independent baby. Let him do his thing. Uh, the game is glitching where I keep picking up and putting down my son and now I need to pee. Some of your features seem okay. I'm thinking the nose is definitely carrying over or maybe not actually. I feel like facial feature wise, you seem fine, but we're gonna have to age you up again. Luckily, we'll just use the same birthday cake. This guy's life is flashing right before his eyes. You're about to be older than your dad in like two seconds, bro. All right, did you make your wish? Are you ready? Oh, we're so excited. Age up, buddy. Oh, you just changed your clothes very cool. You're leaving? Oh my God, you're all grown up now. You're just gonna find your own house, I guess. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Okay, he aged up in like an alleyway. I didn't even see him do it. Why don't you come back up, buddy? Let's see this grand reveal of what our son looks like as a teenager. Come on in, buddy. Anytime now. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh no. Okay, uh, this is interesting. The game's even breaking. Um, yeah, so his mouth and his nose and his chin are very much, uh, just like his mother's. Very nice. But his eyes, his eyes are fixed. Okay, we're gonna age up one more time and then we're gonna get you on the town adulthood awaits you are almost a taxpayer just blow those candles out buddy stop procrastinating death and taxes are inevitable all uh, right and he leaves once again he is too ashamed to age up in the house in which he grew up in the house in which he was conceived windows xp has successfully completed high school wow that was easy okay windows xp it's time to get you on the town we're gonna have a baby with miko i've decided we're gonna have a very respectful introduction because we raised our son right windows xp is a gentleman and he's running away from women and she's leaving okay okay i'm starting to realize that dating as a man is going to be significantly more difficult than dating as a woman okay i'm just speed running this i don't think we're going to destroy any marriages in this specific generation but we'll see you just have a baby right now right here right now and you go in the same room that you were conceived my dude this is a ritual and i don't want to look okay where's your mom by the way she's still where she was she's rendered non-functional at this point and she's just she's just waiting once again i hate that you can hear it from the other room i really really do oh the neighbors are doing it too how wonderful eating for two perfect well since that's happening i just want to do this real quick suddenly you're in labor how awkward oh you don't need to tell him you don't need to tell him you're pregnant honestly he'll figure it out in a second and we've got the same bassinet you're panicking oh my god i love those boots where did you get those your mom does not care <laughs> It's a girl. Donatello. Okay, let's see the grand reveal. It's still green. Okay, we still have a green baby, but that's completely fine. She's blonde. Okay, we're gonna get the cake back out. I've just been saving this. This is just gonna be the family cake. Congratulations, Donatello. You've been sentient for 20 seconds. Let's make it 30. Are you gonna age up? Are you gonna age a bestie? Are you good? My baby's not aging up. Okay, Donatello, it's time to be a grown ass woman. The Crimson chin? Yeah, that's gotta go. Okay, Donatello, there's no time to waste. We just gotta find one more guy. And you know what? I think that Jay Huntington, the third, is exactly what you need. Oh, he's protesting. Sorry, it can't bother him. That's enough. Shut your mouth. We're gonna have to talk now, and you're gonna have to have my babies. Listen, say what you will, but kissing is gonna be very awkward with that chin. I'm just skipping all the fluff. Don't worry about it. Back into the room, and the entire family has now gathered. Yeah, you can hear it. That's, that's great. Your dad is here. Your grandma's here here your mom is here oh man the whole family this is an activity for everybody to enjoy but seriously where did you get those please don't be green please don't be green please don't be green gasoline <gasps> it's not green anymore oh my god could this be the baby have we bred out the ugly gasoline is now a full-grown toddler he may have a bit of a strange haircut but so far he looks pretty proportionally normal okay a bit of a strange must ah no at 
this point, I couldn't believe the audacity that this game had to continue doing this to me. I had lost so much of my patience already, but I had to finish what I had started. So I had gasoline Mary Penny pizzazz, and they had a baby, and at that point, I was already extremely frustrated, so I didn't really give much time and thought into naming this baby. And he actually turned out to look pretty normal until I removed his beard. <laughs> so I had Chad Chin again seduce this random busker on the street. Busker, I hardly know her, but regardless, I made her have my baby. No, wait, two of my babies. First, there was George and George too. At this point, I was two hours into recording and I was crying uncontrollably. And much to my dismay, George didn't look quite right, but we still had George too. I don't know whose dick my sim sucked to get this favor, but oh my god, he looks normal! So I decided to give him a lovely little makeover and create a sim, just iron out his look a little bit, and there you go. It took many generations to breed out the ugly, but we did it. And yes, we, you are complicit in this. Before this video ends, I just want to thank all of my sims over at Patreon for funding this video and for funding me. And usually I would have a lot to say. However, I've been editing this for a very long time, so I'm actually very sleepy. So here instead is a jig. Oh wait, you can't see me dance, but just um, assume that I did. Thank you.